Top 5 Strangest slash coolest homemade assault rifles and battle rifles. What's up guys, this is J-Man Time, and today I'm coming at you with a video on homemade automatic rifles. Now, all of the rifles on this list are made by non-government arsenals and were produced by various insurgent groups of drug cartels or in the case of the first gun I'm going to be talking about just a random manufacturing um, group of people within Pakistan you know which is famous for making copies of foreign firearms so let's get into it number five the Pakistani Kaibar Bolt 47 the Bolt 47 is a Pakistani version of the AK-47 series of assault rifles. This weapon was made in 2010 and is basically a bolt action variant of the AK-47. Now, when I first saw this rifle, this assault rifle, I couldn't tell if it was completely bolt action in terms of it, 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 it not being fully automatic or if it were similar to the German MP35. For those of you who don't know, the MP35 used a bolt action um, cocking system rather than the standard open bolt cocking system seen on German submachine machine guns from that time and even till even up till now with, with German submachine machine guns like the UMP45. So when I saw this Pakistani Kaibar bolt um, AK-47, I couldn't tell if it was um, fully automatic or just bolt action. So I'm just going to say it's bolt action. But it's, I mean, it's not truly an assault rifle, but it kind of still is an assault rifle. It's, I mean, well, it's, it's constructed like an assault rifle, but it still it uses a bolt action loading system rather than a, you know, standard um, assault rifle um, loading system. Number four. The Palestinian Carlo Carbine. The Carlo Carbine is a homemade assault rifle it's a carbine from 2015. It was made by the Palestinian Feta group, which uh, resides in the West Bank area. Um, this weapon is chambered for two different um, cartridges because there's two different variants of this weapon. There's one chambered for the same caliber as the um, Israeli Desert Eagle, the 50, um, you know, pistol cartridge. And there's a second variant chambered for the 5.56 by 45 millimeter NATO. Now, I heard there was a third version chambered for the 5.45 millimeter Russian cartridge, but I haven't seen that one yet. But basically, this is just one of the many homemade weapons made by the Palestinian um, resistance groups. You know, this is the the Carlo Carbine is um, one of the better examples. I mean, it actually works according to the um, um, Israeli um, police in the area. This weapon was captured or has been captured numerous times by um, Israeli army and police personnel. Um, near the frontier within the uh, West Bank region, you know. So yeah, this is one of the cool slash, um, I guess, stranger weapons to come out of the um, Palestinian-Israeli conflict. And it's one of the coolest of the homemade assault carbines um, on this list. Um, I think I should redo the Palestinian, the, the, um, the video I did back in 2014, I believe it was, or 2015, of the, um, I did a video on Palestinian improvised weapons. I think I should redo that video because I found some more weapons that have been developed by the various groups representing the Palestinian resistance. So yes, let's move on to the next gun. Number three. The Rio de Janeiro AR-1. The Rio de Janeiro AR-1 was a homemade or is a homemade open bolt assault rifle slash battle rifle from 2014. Now, this is not from Rio de Janeiro, Mexico. This is from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And this weapon was captured by the Brazilian police and appeared at in um, some, some type of police auction there. Um, in 2015, a year after it was captured. Now, this weapon seems like a, or looks like a homemade version of the AR-10 
slash AR15. Um, according to the website I got this image from, it, it's chambered. This weapon is chambered in either 7.62 by 39 millimeter or 7.62 by 51 millimeter. Most likely the 51, as Brazil does use the um, FN FAL as one of their standard combat rifles. So I, I can see the 7.62 by 51 millimeter NATO being the cartridge used in this Rio de Janeiro AR1. Now, I thought this one was cool for the fact that, I mean, according to the police that captured this rifle, it actually works. You know, this is not the only AR-10 copy. There are a bunch of um, various gangs, cartels, and um, even terrorist groups that have produced homemade AR-10 slash AR-15 ripoff rifles. So, yeah, I thought this was one of the cooler uh, rifles, though. It's not cooler than the next gun, which is my favorite, which, which is my um, favorite of the weapons on this list. And that brings me to number two. Number two, the Bahia Madison AR. The Bahia or Bahai is literally a reconstruction of a M1902 Madison, a Madsen light machine gun. For those of you who don't know, Brazil was a major user of the Madsen light machine gun in the 20th century. Now, today, the Madsen can still be seen in very, very limited numbers uh, being used by the Brazilian police, some drug cartels, and even some Brazilian army um, paramilitary groups. So this Bahai or Bahia Madison AR is a it's just a reconstruction. Some random drug group or drug cartel or gang took an original M1902 Madison and reconstructed it into a battle rifle slash assault rifle, which I think is the coolest like modification of that pre World War One light machine gun, you know. So yeah, and that brings me to the number one, the number one coolest slash strangest um, homemade assault rifle. <clears throat> so number one, the Rio de Janeiro AR-2. The Rio de Janeiro AR-2 is a homemade open boat large caliber, fully automatic battle rifle from 2014. This weapon was also captured in Brazil by the same uh, police unit. This weapon is basically a giant 50 caliber um, semi-automatic rifle. Oh no, fully automatic rifle. Fully automatic rifle. According to the website where I got this image from, or these images from this weapon was tested and was shown to be fully automatic. Its rate of fire was between 200 and 350 rounds per minute, so as fast as a World War One Shoshat uh, light machine gun. You know, if you remember World War One, there was the Shoshat or the Shosho um, light machine gun used by the French military in the First World War. It had a pretty slow rate of fire, and it was known for being one of the worst LMGs of that conflict. Well, this is pretty much like the cartel version of that gun, except I don't know if it functioned um, correctly. So there was no uh, report on that. And the, the, the website I got this image from just states that this weapon worked. So, I mean, this is just a giant... Uh, Assault carbine, basically, it's a giant fully automatic carbine chambered for a 50 BMG. This is basically like a, a, a an M2 Barrett. No, this is basically like a, an M1982 Barrett rifle with its barrel cut down. You know, you know the Barrett 50 caliber sniper rifle. This is basically like that, but in fully automatic mode. So, yeah, I mean. That's it for this list. Um, I will try to do more videos on 
homemade firearms from various time periods. Um, if you got any ideas for conflicts, please put them in the comment section below. And until next time, this was J-Man Time signing off.